Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. If you guys remember correctly, recently I had a shipment that came in really rough and I showed you guys a really neat little invertebrate, a freshwater shrimp uh, called the Pinocchio shrimp, Caradina gracilla rostris, the red nose shrimp. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different common names, but they're really neat. So I wanted to show you guys more about them today. So let's take a look. Now you can probably see why these guys have their name of Pinocchio shrimp. They have that really long red nose or rostrum that is, makes them, you know, just have a, a different appearance from most dwarf shrimp. I think they're really neat. They also tend to swim with their head down and their tail up, which I think is pretty cool. But truly the best part of this species is that they are exceptional algae eaters for their size. As you can see, they graze and pick constantly. They'll eat thread algaes and hair algaes, as well as the fungus and things that grow on wood or decor or on your plants. Now, they will also eat unhealthy plant matter. So if your tank is not quite up to snuff and your plants aren't super healthy, they would certainly eat that as well. But again, they don't eat healthy plants. But one of the things I really like about these little guys is that, you know, they stay about an inch and a quarter. And while they're exceptional algae eaters, they're not nearly as aggressive as something like the Amano shrimp. However, similar to Amano shrimp, they do not complete their life cycle in freshwater. They are from estuaries um, and mangrove marshes in Southeast Asia and India. Now an estuary is sort of the tidal mouth of a river where the salt water meets the fresh water. So these guys are collected in full fresh water, but in order for their young to survive, it requires varying levels of salinity. So it's really not that easy to do in a home aquaria. But just because the young won't survive doesn't mean that they don't get buried. In fact, these guys will bury up, oh, every eight weeks or so with 600 plus, um, eggs and it's really neat to see and that would just be free free fish food. Uh, they have a lifespan of two to three years and I think it's important to mention with this particular shrimp that they're extremely sensitive to poor water quality. A stable mature tank is really really required for them to thrive and not die. They're even more sensitive than a lot of the other dwarf shrimp on the market. But I think they're really cool with that red nose and the red marks in their tail. Uh, females are slightly fatter with that undercarriage and the swimmerettes that, that carry the eggs being a bit broader than the males. You guys remember correctly, these came in looking super milky and I really wasn't at all sure if any would survive. And it turns out I lost very, very few so I'm super geeked about that and super geeked to be able to offer these as an algae eating alternative to an Amano shrimp. They can take a range of temperature from the high 60s to the low 80s and a pH range of about six and a half all the way up to eight. Again, it's very important to remember if you're keeping them in a higher pH that your tank is extremely well cycled and mature. Mature meaning at least a few months old in order to keep these guys doing their best. All in all, I think these guys are super fascinating and awesome uh, and really easy to feed. They'll readily take most dried foods. I just dropped a pellet in here earlier and you can see the readily taking to that. They don't have much obstacle at all as far as feeding. Um, again, they're really great at cleaning up plants infested with hair algae. And just can add like another level ex of excitement to a dwarf shrimp tank. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's just a really cool alternative for an algae eating shrimp in a smaller aquarium. Make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, as well as my website, MsJinx.com. Just a reminder, I'm going to be at the Big Fish Deal in Gaithersburg, Maryland, March 10th through 12th. I'll be selling there on Sunday and attending the whole weekend, so come by and say hello. I'll put a link below. As always, if you guys have any suggestions, comments, or questions, let me know below.